Welcome back, kids. I'm here this afternoon with the lovely Miss Kelly Suzanne. Hello. How are you doing? I'm doing well, thank you. How are you? I'm doing pretty good. That's good. Except for the the rain outside. Oh, I hate the rain. rain. It's but nasty. We're in Florida, so yeah. you know. How was your holiday? My holiday was very well. Uh, I usually go to Lake City to see my mom and daddy, and I couldn't because mm -hmm. you know there's death and disease hanging around, mm -hmm. and I didn't get to see my daughters. Um, but that was okay because they're grown and they have their own life. But eh, it, you know, it all, was okay. That, all three of my kids are in their thirties, moved yeah. out, got their own kids. You know, yeah. rarely see them. Yeah. <laughs> no, it was it was overall it was a very good holiday. It yeah, was a very good holiday. Good, good, yeah. good. So you just recently uh, had an installation at a local museum. They call it a museum, correct? Yes, they do. Yeah. Yes, Beautiful they do. place. Tell yes, us about it's that. It's gorgeous. Um, I was finally kind of forced in some way, in a kind way, to actually kind of pull my security blanket off and hang my work on the wall because uh -huh. for a long time I've been asked, why don't you show your pieces? Why don't you see your work? Why don't you? And I'm always like, oh, I don't want to do that. And just kind of dragging my ass. And I'm like, okay, well, Leilani and Cheryl at Carpolis finally got me to a point where I'm like, okay, I'm going to do this. And they mm -hmm. kind of squeezed me into where I didn't have like a day or two to where I would kind of was just forced into it. So when they did that, I was like, okay, well, and then it all went up and now I feel really good about it. And it was like, what did you say, 15 pieces? 15 pieces, yes, nice. 15 pieces. And, and, and people can go yes. over there. Yes, people can go over the there week and, during the week and on the weekends. Right, right, um, right. And yeah. they can buy them. They can buy them. They are right. they are for sale. Um, mm -hmm. If you are interested in buying one, just they have my number and my information. Right. right. And you contact me. It's a museum, so the prices right. are not listed, right. just like right. they would normally be, not in a museum. So uh, you would you would have more pieces than just the fifteen. Yes, I do have more pieces mm -hmm. than the fifteen. Um, I actually found out yesterday that I have something coming up in June where Barbara Colicello mm -hmm. is going to do a one woman. Um, thing for me at Babs featuring my storytelling right. and my art. Oh, that'd be nice. Yeah. She, she's going to be in here soon. Yeah, she's starting we, a fundraiser we, we had, for Babs. We had to, we had to cancel at yeah. once. Yeah, because I talked Scheduling. to her about it and she was talking about how Deborah was going to be here and, you know. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, your artwork is really bright and colorful. Got a lot of color to it. Yeah. Uh, and the different pieces, uh, it's kind of a eclectic mix. Uh, what would you call your style? Um, to me, I call myself surreal impressionist. Mm -hmm. I don't think that's actually a term that is used, <laughs> like as far as like the high art world or anything. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. To me, it just kind of uh, speaks to what I'm doing mm -hmm. um, because there's not really any other vein that really feels what I do. Mm -hmm. It's very a um, lot of abstraction in it. Mm -hmm. Uh, but yeah, it's it's one of those things that it's. I've been doing it for 20 years. Yeah. Which most people don't realize that I've been mm -hmm. doing it that long. Um, but it, I like brightness. I want to make right. people happy. I want to make people think, but Your I also want really to make pretty. them happy. Uh, have you not hung it in public before? I like hung in a gallery it or something. Briefly, mm -hmm. I hung it in Silver Cow when Silver Cow was located over off of King Street. Mm -hmm. um, I, they were there for a very, but that was years ago. Like right. everything, most of the stuff that was in, that is in Carpolis wasn't even done at that point right. in time, right. at all. So it's all completely new work. Well, and and now, and I ask everybody this, you know, now with the pandemic. A lot of the galleries are closed. Yeah. The s smaller galleries. You're seeing some of the larger ones are opening back. Uh, Comer is yeah. back open. Right. Uh, but uh, Hope McMath's place, the Yellow House, it's still closed, and she doesn't plan on opening it any anytime right. soon. She's being super cautious. Right. And, and that's okay. That's all right, you know. But at the same time, uh, you know that getting your art out there is it's know, essential. Uh, but if you just rely on that, the right. galleries, it's, it's sometimes difficult it's, it's difficult, it, yeah. It's, yeah, especially in North Florida. Yes, it is <laughs> extremely difficult. And my it's not, art is... It's not the art mecca of, <laughs> you know... No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Nobody really thinks about Jacksonville as an art mecca. No. <laughs> uh, do, do you have an online presence I for do. your art? I do have an online presence. I have an actually an exceptional online presence for my art as far as the audience that I have. I don't have a lot uh -huh. of followers, but 
um, the content, the, the the, num the people that do follow me are some pretty incredible people, and I feel mm -hmm. very blessed that I've gotten their attention right. and that I have had the mentor that I've had all of these years who has just, um, he's just patted me on the head and <laughs> he's ripped me a new asshole, which, you know, um, considering who my mentor is was not really a nice feeling. But, um, but yeah, I, I have a very good... Um, Instagram presence, so there's a lot. I've been shouted out by some pretty incredible people. Nice, nice. Um, yeah. And so we could use your Instagram link. Yeah. In, in the credits. Oh, okay. Yeah. Would that be cool? That's cool. Yeah. Yeah. That would work. Yeah. Uh, another thing, uh, I asked a lot of the artists that come in here. Uh, do you have a day gig? No. no, I used to have a day gig. Mm -hmm. I worked. Um, a floral, floral, floral arrangement. Yes, I work, I'm a floral designer, mm -hmm. and I did that. Mm -hmm. And then I just decided, you know what? I'm going to give my whole self to art. That's what I've been wanting to do. So that is what I'm going to do. Absolutely and nothing wrong with that. Yeah. So that's kind of where I'm at now. Just right. well, uh, a lot of the musicians right now that aren't able to play. You yeah. Know, uh, yeah. We were talking earlier. Yeah. Uh, they're not able to play, and they just started doing online things, and you know the, and a lot of them were like Zoom concerts. Yeah, you got to do what you got to do. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Uh, it it gave them it. It helped them to, right. you know, keep manifesting their, you know, their yeah, feelings. Yeah, you have to, yeah. Uh, but, you well, know, if you're uh, creative, and a lot you of them said, you know, uh, I also lost my day job. Yeah. So now I'm not playing on the weekends or four nights a week or five nights a week. And I'm not going to do my nine to five either. Yeah. So it really sucks. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I am fortunate and very blessed mm -hmm. in the fact that um, I am... I can be where I am in my in, mm -hmm. and where I am in life to where I can finally take that step because I've mm -hmm. always wanted to build something for myself. Right. And so I'm like, you know what? Now is the time for me to do it. All of my children are almost grown, mm -hmm. um, and I have the time, and I know some incredible people right. that will help me see what I can't see and know what I can't know. So I feel like I've got a pretty good backing for it. So it's like, you know what? I did. I just yeah. went ahead. So I was in the fortunate situation that I quit my job. I didn't mm -hmm. have it taken away from me. So, but yeah, for the people that have, it's, it, this has just sucked ass. <laughs> You're telling me. I mean, I miss art shows. I miss people. Mm -hmm. I miss Gypsy Moon events. I miss being able to go out and just see people and hug people. And right. people have been like, oh, we're never going to hug again. And I'm like, oh, that is poppycock. People have always hugged. We're mm -hmm. going to hug again when this is over with. Sure. But sure. the good thing about it is, is the feeling that you can have from people. And you see it every now and then. And mm -hmm. you hear it. The incredible party that is going to take place oh, I know. when this is all over with. Oh, oh. It's just... A lot of people are going to do it. Oh, yeah. Oh, There's yeah. There's going to be a lot of... Then Jacksonville will be considered an art mecca. Post-pandemic parties are going to be all over the place. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. The whole world is well, going to be, be post-pandemic they'll, they'll, be, they'll be revved up for it with all the day drinking they're doing now. In yes. Quarantine. Oh, we're getting ready. That's what this is. <laughs> you're we're getting pre -gaming. ready. We're pre -gaming. This is a... Yes, it's a long pre-game. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Because so, it's gonna, we're going to make it count. So what are your plans going forward? Like you say, you poured all of yourself into your art. Yeah. Uh, how long is the installation going to be? At the installation Parker? actually has been held over through March. Like I take mm -hmm. it down, I think, March the 28th or the 29th is when mm -hmm. I take it down now. Okay. So, yeah, a couple more months. So I'm, I'm happy about that because they were going to have somebody that was going to be in March and then they couldn't be. So they were like, just stay till April. So I'm like, good deal. So we'll tell everybody to go there now. Go there now, yes. And, and buy all of them. Buy all of it. Yes, please, <laughs> please buy all of it. Okay, I really get tired of eating beans. <laughs> I tell you what, I tell you what, it's been a pleasure having you here today with us. Thank you. Uh, uh, we'll definitely have to, you know, cover some of your your art yes uh, yes and we'll get some we'll get some pictures over there okay we'll go over there and do that oh yeah we'll we'll put your link on for you thank you thank you and for everybody else i want to i want to tell you thank you for being with us and we're excited about going into the second season right now and don't forget the contrast project you can find us on facebook instagram like share comment and on youtube like share comment and smash the goddamn subscribe button so until the next time Peace.